This video should be used in combination with the installation instructions provided with your HydroBlock products. If you have any questions, contact your HydroBlock representative before you start installation. Using the floor lowering kit allows you to recess the subfloor to sit flush with the top of your joists. Remove the entire subfloor to the walls and joists as needed. The subfloor should not overhang the joist bay or be left unsupported. Install the wall brackets using the included inch and a half joist hanging nails. Refer to the instructions provided in the floor recess kit. Install the joist brackets with the included inch and 5 8 wood screws with a maximum 36 inch spacing between brackets. Cut and pre-assemble the 2x4 stud support frames, screw and glue together. Framework should be 3 quarters of an inch longer on each end so it can support the underside of the existing subfloor plywood. Place the frame into hangers using subfloor adhesive at the hanger seats. Then screw up through the bottom of the bracket into the new framework. Apply subfloor adhesive or hydroblock joint sealant onto the frame. Position minimum 3 quarter inch plywood to fill the area between the joists and screw into place. Cut a 5 inch opening at your drain location. The hole cannot be larger than 6 inches in diameter. Cut your 2 inch drain pipe flush to the subfloor. Cut your shower pan to fit the desired area, leaving an eighth inch gap around the perimeter. Cut a new notch in the pan to replicate the factory notch on any cut edges. Now dry fit the pan in place. Remove the ball seal from inside the drain hub. Dry fit the drain hub to ensure proper pipe alignment. The drain hub allows a quarter of an inch lateral adjustment in all directions. Remove the drain hub and shower pan. Use a minimum 3 8 inch by 3 8 inch notch trowel to apply modified thinset to the subfloor. Install the shower pan and use your body weight to seat it into the thin set. Apply two 3 8 inch beads of joint sealant onto the drain collar. Insert the included pipe puller all the way into the drain and rotate it to a vertical position. Reinsert the ball seal into the drain hub, ensuring the down arrow is pointing to the bottom of the drain collar, into the pipe. Press the drain hub over the drain pipe while pulling up on the pipe puller. The drain hub must be seated to within a quarter of an inch of the drain pipe. The ball seal can accommodate up to a five degree angle of the drain pipe. Fasten the drain collar with hydroblock screws or number eight inch and a quarter minimum. Do not over tighten. Remove the pipe puller from the drain. For concrete floors where the pipe is fixed and does not have any movement, it's not necessary to screw down the drain hub. The ball seal will hold the drain hub into place once fully set onto the drain pipe. Apply a sufficient amount of sealant to the perimeter of the drain hub and screw locations, and then tool flat. Apply thinset to the floor in one direction, using a quarter inch by quarter inch notch trowel. Ensure no thinset is applied into the notch of the shower pan. Apply two half-inch continuous beads of hydroblock joint sealant to the notch of the shower pan. Carefully lower the quarter-inch wallboard into place, into the pan notch. Use your body weight to fully compress the wallboard into the thin set and the pan notch. Install hydroblock screws and washers with a maximum 18-inch spacing. Now apply a half-inch continuous bead of hydroblock joint sealant on the seam between the pan and the wallboard. Use a flat putty knife to trowel the joint sealant flat. 
Installed two inch mesh tape, ensuring it's fully covered with joint sealant. Apply additional HydroBlock joint sealant over all exposed washers and trowel flat with a putty knife. Plan and measure your cuts for installing wallboard on one side of the shower. We recommend starting with the back of the shower area. Cut the HydroBlock wallboard to size with a utility knife or power saw and a straight edge. Apply a generous 3 8 inch continuous bead of HydroBlock joint sealant into the notch of the shower pan. Press the wallboard into the bead of sealant, using a level to ensure the wallboard is level and fully seated in the notch. Secure the wallboard to the studs with HydroBlock screws and washers. Start 12 inches above the pan and repeat every 12 inches. Washers should be flush with or sit just below the surface of the wallboard. Apply a half inch continuous bead of sealant along the seam and smooth into place using a putty knife. Cut the mesh tape provided with the shower pan two inches short on each side and press into the joint sealant. Apply an additional bead of joint sealant and use the putty knives to ensure the mesh tape is fully covered. Install the remaining boards with 3 8 inch continuous beads of joint sealant between all parts and compress them together. Fasten the wallboard to the studs as previously described and apply additional sealant to all seams and trowel flat with a putty knife. Apply mesh tape to all seams between the pan and wallboard as previously described. Apply HydroBlock joint sealant to all screws and washers and trowel down with a putty knife so that they're fully covered. Install your shower pan and wallboard as previously described. The floor lowering kit is not required for shower pan and curb installations. Carefully measure the opening for the shower curb. Cut the curb to length so that it's an eighth of an inch shorter than the distance between the two walls. Hydroblock curbs can be cut with a wet saw, chop saw, circular saw, or hand saw. Ensure that the cuts are square and neat. Dry fit the curb to ensure proper fit. Apply modified thinset to the floor where the curb sits with a minimum 3 8 inch trowel. Apply thinset to the lower side of the curb with the smooth edge of the trowel. Do not apply thinset into the notch on the curb. Apply a half inch continuous bead of HydroBlock joint sealant to the shower pan notch and on the lower vertical perimeter surface of the shower pan. Apply a generous amount of HydroBlock joint sealant to the wallboard where the ends of the curb will be located and to each end of the curb. Place the curb into position at an angle to avoid mixing the thin set and joint sealant. Use a level and square to check proper placement of the curb so that it's level and has a slight angle to the inside of the shower. Remove any excess thin set. Apply a continuous half inch bead of HydroBlock joint sealant into the seams where the curb meets the shower pan and wallboard. Smooth out the HydroBlock joint sealant with a putty knife. Apply two inch mesh tape included with the shower pan along the joint between the pan and curb and to the top of the curb where it meets the wallboard. Cover the mesh tape with an additional continuous bead of HydroBlock joint sealant and smooth out with the appropriate putty knives. Double check all mesh tape and seams are properly covered with joint sealant. The standard HydroBlock shower curbs are a larger three and a half inches wide by four inches tall. The HydroBlock mini curb is two inches wide by two and a half inches tall. HydroBlock joint sealant will cure underwater, allowing immediate flood testing. After approximately one hour at room temperature, the HydroBlock joint sealant will skin over and thin set and tile or stone can be applied. HydroBlock niches are designed to fit 16 inch on center wall stud spacing and can be placed vertically as desired for use and layout. All niches must be installed so they're supported by a stud on each vertical side. 
Use a level to ensure the niche is plumb and level and trace the perimeter onto the wall board. Remove any screws and washers that are in the path of the vertical cuts. Use a utility knife to cut and remove the wall board. Dry fit the niche and ensure it's properly seated to sit flush with the wall board. Then apply a half inch bead of joint sealant to all four inner edges of the cut opening. Place the niche into the opening, seating it into the lower bead of sealant first. Install two sets of washers and screws to each side centered on the seams. Apply a final half inch bead of sealant on all four seams. Trowel the sealant flat with a putty knife ensuring all seams and washers are fully covered. Shelves can be secured into the niche with a generous bead of joint sealant on the three foam sides. Fit the shelf into place and install with a slight slope to the front in order to allow water to run off into the shower. Perform a final check to ensure the shelf is positioned at the same level on both sides. Custom benches can be made of either inch and a half or two inch thick hydroblock building board. Determine your overall size and cut the required parts from the hydroblock building board using a circular saw. For a corner bench, you'll need to cut the ends of the front panel at a 45 degree angle on each side. Dry fit the bench parts and check for proper size and fit. Note that the two supports on the back do not need to be continuous. Apply generous beads of joint sealant to the back side of the bottom of the support pieces and press firmly into place. Apply hydroblock joint sealant to the sides and bottom of the front panel and press into proper position. Apply hydroblock joint sealant to the back sides of the bench top board as well as to the top of the front panel and back supports. Press the top piece into place. Use more pressure at the front of the bench to provide a slope to allow water runoff. Apply additional sealant to all seams and trowel flat with a putty knife. Inch and a half or two inch thick hydroblock building board can be used for building suspended benches, seats, and shelves. These structures can be glued into place using hydroblock joint sealant and mesh tape without any additional supports or fasteners. For unsupported spans 18 inches or less, one single layer of building board can be used. For spans 18 inches to 36 inches, Two layers of building board are required with modified thinset applied in between using a quarter inch by quarter inch notch trowel. Determine the overall size and cut the parts from the building board using a circular saw. Apply generous half inch beads of hydroblock joint sealant to the back edges. Press the bench firmly into place while providing a slight slope toward the front to allow water to run off. Apply a half inch bead of hydroblock joint sealant to the seams on top and bottom of the bench. Trowel the sealant flat and apply two inch mesh tape included with all hydroblock shower pans. Apply additional hydroblock joint sealant on top of the mesh tape and trowel flat. Ensure the mesh is completely embedded. After curing, this suspended bench exceeds a live load over 550 pounds before tile. Flip the green construction plug upside down to access the wax cup. Remove the wax cap and use your finger to apply wax to the outer edge of the construction plug. 
The wax is a release agent, allowing the construction plug to easily separate from the grout after the tile installation is completely grouted. Insert the construction plug into the grate frame and spin the leveling screws until snug. If you want to have the grate installed centered on the pipe location, then insert the three centering tabs. If you would like to adjust the grate away from the center to help with your tile layout, then remove the centering tabs and this will allow for adjustment up to a half an inch off center in any direction. The frame with attached wings is set up from the factory to flush out with installed tile 3 16 of an inch, including thin set. Snap off the frame wings and use the leveling screws in the construction plug to set the proper height flush with your tile. Use the provided spacer under the grate frame for installations a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. The frame wings are recommended to be reinstalled to fill the recessed area in the pan collar, especially with small mosaics. Put a couple of dabs of sealant under the frame wing fillers and tack into place. Do not use an abundant or continuous amount of sealant as the wings need to allow water to weep into the drain pipe. If you didn't center the great frame, then you may need to slightly trim down one of the frame wings so it fits in the pan collar. Install the tile and finish all the grout joints, including the joints around the construction plug. Allow the grout to cure overnight and then remove the four leveling screws in the construction plug. Reinstall one screw in the center threaded area and pull upward to assist in removing the construction plug. Cut away the threaded corners on the grate frame. Install the HydroBlock stainless steel grate. For custom grate options, visit eb-america.com and view the ELP series. These can be ordered online directly from EB. At any time, you may simply remove the standard HydroBlock grate and install an EB ELP square grate.